traps. This is uh, my preferred way of tying San Juan worms. And I, like I said, I don't know that the trout would probably say, no, I like that other one better. Maybe they do. I don't know. I wouldn't know because all I fish with is one like this. All right, I'm going to have my thread. I'm going to put my thread behind the red fingernail polish is what I used on these. If you, when you first put that fingernail polish on, you will think, oh, that's, that's just all globbed on there. It's never going to show the segments. But when you let it dry, the segments come out loud and clear. So I'm going to put some thread back behind the lead, and I'm going to build that up a little bit. If you can see, I've got that kind of, I've got it built up thinner at the back and building it up nearer the lead so I don't have just a real great big old hump showing. Okay. Now, in your materials, I hope you got one of those little pieces of uh, paper and you got a string of this chamois. That little piece of paper is a size guide. You need to cut that piece of chamois, that's about, a, I forget, inch and three quarters, something like that. You don't want it too long, you don't want it too short. But what I do before I tie, and again I'm showing how anal I am, I like my chamois to look a little bit more like a regular worm. So I take my scissors and I cut on one end, I cut the, the bigger end of the worm. And then on the other end, I kind of taper that up a little bit. Now do the, I, I doubt that the trash are going to pick one over the other. But this makes me happy and that's the way I do it. Okay. You'll notice there are two sides to this chamois. One side is kind of flat, and the other is a much rougher. See the, how rough this side is? That's going to be the downside. And I'm going to put the smoother side, I'm going to put it, this is much smoother, I'm going to put it up on top. I'm going to lay the San Juan worm. I want both ends to hang over each end of the, the hook about the same distance. So I'm going to lay that on. I'm going to hold it with my thumb in place. And I'm going to try and make some wraps right on top of each other. It's probably going to want to turn on you. That's, that's natural. But at this point in the game, you, can, you have no problem centering it where you want it. And I'm going to pull that back and, and make sure it's centered. Smooth side up, did you say? The smooth side up, yes. And I'm going to attach that with, uh, I don't know, six, seven wraps. And here is the tricky part. We've got to tie that off because I don't want to wrap thread through that polished nail polish on my uh, lead. So I'm going to do just a, a hand half hitch going to make a big loop, going to go over, and I'm going to make that thread stop right where I want it, squeeze it, and pull that tight. Going to make a big loop, go over, under and around, does the same thing a half hitch tool does, pull that tight, and if I want to double that, get two knots at once, I'm going to go wrap around myself twice, hold that right there, pull it tight, cinch it in, and trim. If you're among those that have mastered the whip finish tool, let you know this come in a couple of sizes. This is the size that you guys have. It's a pretty standard size. There's one about half that size that's for working with really tiny 16s, 18s, 20s makes it a little bit easier to use. They also make one that is about twice that size, okay? And it works really nice if you've got to make your loop over some a lengthy material like this. 
but I find that using the little hand half hitch works, works really fine. So when you've got that attached, so I'm going to fold that back and I'm going to reattach my thread in front of the lead this time. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of build that up a little bit near the lead. Trim off my tag end. And the rest of it is a piece of cake. I'm going to fold that forward. I'm going to grab it so it stays in place. And I'm going to try to make my wraps really close to each other. I don't want a great big, huge, wide wrap. And then I'm going to half hitch that off. Now, if you have one of these larger whip finish tools, I don't have enough space here the way this camera is mounted to use that. But you can even use the smaller one. Uh, I've got enough space I can use that, I think, and I can manipulate that over and around. There's two, three, four should be enough. Cinch that up, trim it. And one thing that I do that I normally don't do, I use some head cement. I have had these come undone after a fish or two. And if you put a little dab of head cement on just, just the thread, do not put it on the red that's on the lead, this head cement will melt that red fingernail polish into goo. You don't want that. But I just put a little dab, top and bottom, just to give that just a little bit of extra strength and that is, I think, a really cool San Juan worm. I have never seen these tied this way in a store. Product is too labor intensive. <laughs> but I just, I just like the appearance of the, you know, the, the segments. I think those segments just look buggier to me. I don't know. Probably going to make a bit of difference to the fish, but it. Like I said, it makes me happy, so that's how I tie them.